A well-prepared soup always makes a memorable impression. Soups offer a full array of flavoring, ingredients, and garnishing opportunities. Soups also allow the use of trimmings and leftovers creatively. Join me today and let's learn together. I'm Teacher Bernice and let's learn about soup. Get ready with your self-learning module, pen, notebook and let's start. In this lesson, you are expected to learn the following. Number one, identify and distinguish the different classifications of soup. And number two, explain the importance of soup in a menu. Before we move further, let us check what you already know about our topic. Answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what do you call the liquid in which meat, fish, and sometimes vegetables have been cooked? A. Glaze B. Sauce C. Stock D. Water And the answer is letter C. Number 2. Which of the following is a clear soup? A. Bisque B. Bollion C. Cream D. Puree And the answer is Bollion Number 3. What type of soup can be served either hot or cold? A. Ancient soup B. Cold soup C. Dessert soup D. Fruit soup And the answer is letter D. Fruit soup Number 4. What substance is added to give taste to the food? A. Decoration B. Flavoring C. Seasoning D. Thickening And the answer is letter B, flavoring. Number 5. What makes a soup appetizing? A. Garnish D. Ingredients C. Taste D. All of the above And the answer is letter D, all of the above. In learning outcome 1, you have learned the principles of preparing a stock, classification of stock, ingredients in preparing a stock and guidelines in preparing a stock. You have also learned the different kinds of spices and seasoning used in making a stock. Soup is liquid food especially with a meat, fish or vegetable stock as a base and often containing pieces of solid food. Soup has classifications. Number one classification is clear soup. Soup based on clear and thickened broth or stock. They may serve plain or garnish with variety of vegetables and meats. Under this classification, we have the following. Letter A. Broth and bollion. Simple soup without solid. The major distinction between broth and stock is broth can be served as is, while stock is used in production of other dishes. Letter B. Vegetable soup. The stock added with one or more vegetables, meat, or poultry. Letter C. Consomme. Rich, flavorful stock or brew that has been clarified to make it perfectly clear and transparent. Number 2 classification is Thick Soup. Soup that are thickened to provide a heavier consistency. This is based on bechamel sauce and is finished with a heavy cream. But some thick soup are velvety sauce based, stock thickened with raw. There are types of thick soup. A cream soup, soup thickened with raw, bourmanje, liaison or other thickening agents plus milk or cream. B a purist, vegetable soup thickened with starch and C bisque, thickened soups made from shellfish. Letter D, chowder. Purty soup made from fish, shellfish, or vegetables usually contain milk and potatoes. E. Velote, soup thickened with egg, butter, and cream. There are other types of soup. One is dessert soup. Under this, we have our own ginataan. Letter B. 
Oshikiro, a Japanese asuki bean soup. And letter C, Tong Shoi, Chinese fruit soup. Number 2, fruit soup. This is served, it's either hot or cold. And number 3 is cool soup. Now it's your turn. Let's see if you understand the lesson. Prepare your answer notebook and answer the following questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What is the basic ingredient of a soup? Letter A. Bone B. Sauce C. Stock D. Water Number 2. Which among the following soup is based on antique broth or stock? A. Clear soup B. Cream soup C. Consomme D. Thick soup Number 3. Which of the following soup is being clarified to and make it perfectly clear and transparent? A. Bisque B. Consomme C. Dessert soup D. Fruit soup Number 4. What classification of soup does bisque soup belong? A. Clear soup B. Cold soup C. Fruit soup D. Thick soup Number 5. How do you prepare an appetizing soup? A. Serve it in a soup bowl B. Use trimmings or garnish creatively C. Put the serving bowl into a serving tray D. Prepare it well with flavoring, ingredients, and garnish And the answers are 1C 2C 3B 4D and 5D Continue answering from number 6 to 15 in your module Thank you learners for being with me See you in the next lesson